<laughs> Welcome to the Tree and Nacho Podcast. Tree. Nacho, we coming at you back with the one twos, man. We at motherfucking Wild Out Camp Studios. Getting shit popping the fuck off. What are we going to talk about today, big bro? I don't know, man. Today's topic is about you. <sighs> What's the word I'm looking for? Self. Sadity ass people. Self sadity ass people. So you mean like people who sabotage their own life, or are you talking about the ones that portray an image but don't really live the image they portray? Mm. All right. Yeah, man. You fakers, basically. That's what we're gonna talk about today. It's a lot of that. It's a lot of that. What's some shit you? What's some shit you seen that nigga was faking about? You know, like first of all, like me and me and Lucas was talking talking about downstairs, like niggas and uh, taking pictures every day just to post it. Motherfuckers gonna be doing shit at all. It's niggas that literally go, live to go outside just to take a picture. Mm-hmm. Compared to a motherfucker that only take pictures to capture the moment to you know to live that moment forever. You niggas that took the phone out of taking pictures. <laughs> <laughs> That shit ain't even fun no more. <laughs> that's that's what you want to talk about? Niggas taking the fun out of everything? Y'all niggas take the fun out of everything. Y'all make shit seem so fucking stupid and un, 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 uneducated and unneeded and shit. This shit is fucking irrelevant, bro. Like, niggas is... Yeah, bro, niggas got to stop trying to advertise everything. You niggas done forgot how to live, bro. Like, niggas don't even go outside no more, like... Like... And do shit. I ain't saying go outside and just be outside. But y'all niggas literally don't even go outside and do shit, build shit. Like half of half of being a man is all hustle. You know what I'm saying? You either gonna sell a service or you gonna sell a product. But your bitch ass can't do that if your ass don't know how to live, bro. Half of you niggas ain't talented. Y'all just mimic. This shit crazy. I hate a motherfucker like that. I know a motherfucker who just that's the thing, like, broke as fuck, but they try to make sure a motherfucker who don't know them, don't know that shit. Niggas, uh, everybody's broke at the moment. I hate them niggas that act like they, they never broke or, oh, money don't last forever, my boy. Even the, even your richest, your richest artist or your richest rap star, whatever, still be broke from time to time, man. That money shit ain't always there when they want it to be. Yeah, bro. They only look at being, because that, that's how much they're trying to show it to y'all, but. That shit ain't always done. You think people think TV is real? Yes. Like, everybody need to know TV is a exclamation. It's it's reality times 10. It's it's fictitious. So when you trying to live a life that you see on TV and these niggas be stunning, they be lying, bro. They be having credit. They be signed to contracts where they got to get certain shit, bro. But you got to build a brand to do that. But these niggas be broke. Niggas don't even know what building a brand is. It's like, it's shit like that. Like, topics like shit like that. How you don't know how to build your own brand? How you don't know how to get into the business point of owning ownership of your own self? Niggas don't know. Niggas ain't never been taught how to hustle. Niggas taught how to hustle. They just taught how to one-way hustle. They think hustling, when you say hustle, you, you talking about the streets. Motherfuckers don't know the word hustle stands for even a nine to five boy. Working for yourself. These niggas don't know what that shit mean. We talking to a generation that think having six, seven chains don't make you rich as fuck. Nah, bro. Definitely. Nah, that shit's dead. I say, you shouldn't have no chains until you at least got 20 million in the bank. Because it could be a write-off. I ain't gonna care with you. I ain't finna spend no $10,000 on no chain. I don't know why niggas want chains anyway. If it ain't no a chain, like... Like the chain I got for my sister, something like that. Yeah, that's yeah. different. Then that it yeah. got a, it got a special meaning in mind. But you niggas just be, you know, I niggas be dumbass shit. Just be tired like of that. Bart shit. Simpson smoking a blunt, fucking a fucking shark with with, with a grill and shit. Mm, no, it's fucking um, what's up? Some it's a, a big ass chain. Remember that big ass chain? T- it just said big ass chain. <laughs> That shit was nuts. It was like, damn, bro, that's a house. Oh, bro, that's fucked up. We ain't sponsoring nobody, so we covering this shit, which I don't know what the fuck it is. Like, it's obviously a bottle. Yeah, that's lost. Men gotta be men, bro. Men don't know how to be men. Like, I hate a nigga who be like, 
motherfuckers don't show me the love after I give them everything they need. It's like, bro, you don't value yourself enough to realize that that's what you're supposed to do. Yeah, but niggas, it's always, it's not even that people got to stop wanting to return all the time. I'm going to say it again, bro. Mamas with dicks, bro. Uh, you niggas, you niggas act like y'all mamas full-fledged. And y'all think y'all fathers are so whack-ass people or so stern people or drunk people. I don't know why niggas don't look at the other side of their uh, fathers and shit, bro. Or father figures, nigga. Couples don't raise kids. Communities do. So you had somebody, bro. You had somebody. That shit, that shit dead, bro. That's an that excuse shit, now. That shit went over motherfucking heads. <laughs> yeah, bro. Like, it's an excuse now, bro. We are the generation that can reunite the black family, the indigenous family, nigga. We can be the first generation that be like, it's a man in the house and it's a woman in the house and we all good. We can restart that shit with this business shit. But you niggas in y'all fucking emotion. Pride. Really, that's it. Pride and ego, bro. And y'all envy niggas, y'all think y'all praise. Y'all actually don't like them niggas, but y'all see them getting money, so you try to beat them. And then don't and then when you do it, you be fucked up because it's like, damn, I'm trying to be a nigga I don't I really don't like. But it's making sense. Fucking copycats. Man. These niggas are characters. Yeah, put this up. Put it out. On what, nigga? We ain't got no ashtray. <laughs> We at the cuffs, nigga. This is the beginning, nigga. We ain't got shit. <laughs> we got, hey. Hey, nigga, this is, oh. Hey, this is where it start, though, baby. We gonna look at this video one day and be like, bro, remember that time? Crying. <laughs> we was in the studio with a bunch of cameras that didn't work. <laughs> we was in the studio, couldn't use the green screen. Look at that, that shit. A bunch of emptiness. <laughs> a bunch of emptiness. We, but I'm going to tell you something, though. I'm gonna tell you something. I'm going to tell you niggas something. <laughs> and I had, to, I had to lean in on y'all niggas so y'all see what the fuck I'm talking about. This is the beginning. We did the work to build a brand. Yeah, it ain't, it ain't fully known yet, but it will be. We did the work. We found a place. We found someone who believed in us and is helping us produce our show. What are y'all niggas doing? Beating your dick to Golden Girls. Like, this shit is... It's one, two, nigga. It's not the Golden Girls. It's like niggas... It's like niggas done forgot that niggas trying to create shit now, right? When you a builder, bitch. Women create, bro. Creation is endless. It's infinite. Building is A to Z. We are A to Z, bitch ass nigga. Stop trying to be like these bitches, bro. Stop trying to be like women in period, but y'all niggas ain't even trying to be like. What are you doing? What are you? What are you trying to? What are we? What are we doing? I knew it was one of those. I knew it was one of those. You look stupid. <laughs> Everybody who wear one of these bitches, y'all look stupid. And then when y'all get caught, like my face is covered. Really? Was it? Cause everybody know your face. Your face structure, bitch ass nigga. Yeah, his nose big as hell. I know that beak anywhere. <laughs> Man, somebody finger banged my payday, bro. Look at this shit. He didn't even check it. Look, he bought this bitch with this big ass thumb hole in it. Look at. First of all, hold on. He goddamn, 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 goddamn. All you getting is my side lock in this shit. Nah, but look at this shit. This nigga, I didn't do this. This nigga put a fucking thumb hole in my shit. Can't even eat it. You know what injected in this shit? Y'all know what they do to the food in the project? Bunch of real shit though, bro. Trend not your podcast. Morals, values, and virtues, nigga. We got them shits, bro. Any questions that need to be answered? And it's about, and we gonna do something that ain't never been done before, nigga. We gonna express. And we are going to teach people the balance of love, nigga. Oh, shorty. Because the way we being taught love is all feminine. And that's why niggas be feeling lost. That's why niggas be like, man, I love my bitch, but I hate my relationship. <laughs> <laughs> that's fucked up. It's because you're not living my bitch. Like, it's... Y'all don't live y'all true lives, bro. Y'all never go through y'all fucking journey. Y'all just... Y'all just don't want to be lonely. That ain't real, nigga. 
correct and motherfucking control your emotions and build. You know, I was just, what the fuck did I say? What the fuck did I say downstairs? I was like, I don't know. We'll bring that up next episode. I don't know. I don't, I don't even remember. But like, mm. seriously though, bro. No, I remember now. I remember now. I was like, niggas be, people be getting in relationships, right? And they, it's like you literally walk to each other with one crutch each. And then y'all get together and y'all share one of the crutches. So one of y'all be walking okay, but the other person be limping like a motherfucker for dead life. And it's like, damn, like, if you get it, I'm speaking it spiritually. Like, so now it's like, damn, why why instead of having a, a crutch to share, why don't we just heal ourselves and become who we truly are before actually being in some bullshit, being in a relationship that's just for survival? That shit whack, bro. Relationships ain't shouldn't be for survival, bro. I'm really mad about this fucking payday, bro. Fuck. Hungry. I gotta throw this bitch out before I make a mistake. <laughs> put this put this in here. Fuck it. Somebody literally took their thumb and then goes like, yeah, nigga. Herpes. But um, yeah, bro. People gotta stop. Men have to learn how to be real men, bro. And a lot of you niggas don't know what it is, bro. And it's a forever learning process. But we're going to get you niggas right. Yeah. Anything, mm. anything you want to say? Bro. I'm eating, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> What's point to the podcast? You're just going to be chewing food. <laughs> hmm? What? What? We should have saved all that shit we was talking about before. Mm-hmm. Then. Like, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's that motherfucker good, ain't it? <laughs> <laughs> you eat the fuck out of that twist. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. That nigga like, mm-hmm. you know a nigga love his food when he's singing. Mm-hmm. 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 Remember, oh uh, fuck it, oh. Uh, remember, don't be a menace. So that nigga was like, with my lap, with my hot taps. Hmm. Hmm. Show that sound like, bro. Oh man, church. That's why I gotta say shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, but this is great, man. Boop. Fucking fucking up. I was like, well, you better not start another fucking video.